And this next bloke, well, he wouldn't be adverse about keeping a massive great beast with sharp teeth under his bed. He's Steve Irwin. Ring any bells? How about the crocodile hunter? Now, he's been in New Zealand promoting his first big screen movie with wife Terry. I caught up with this larger-than-life classic Aussie bloke, asked him about his movie and put him and Terry to the flip side multi-choice. What we've got here is the bird-eating spider. Just kidding. Yeah, mate. It's oh, crazy. mate, yeah, we, it's a giant spoof. It's about um, Terry and I catching this one particular crocodile that we had to rescue. Hey, hey. That crocodile nearly got me, Sue. <laughs> they want it dead. And uh, so I'm thinking they're poachers. And so, you know, this battle takes place in Outback Australia. Ah! Lucky my wife, such a good driver. I never saw a script, but I used venomous snakes. Yeah, the CIA. But I didn't know they were CIA. CIA. Sitting in your chairs going, ah! We got to do our own stunt. Boat chases, bombs going off. I think there were four times somebody almost died. Did you hear that? Can only be poachers. For the first time in Terry's filming career, That's true. she had a toilet. I had a toilet. Uh, I had a toilet. A oh, fair income luxury. toilet, you know, like, uh, like a portable toilet with a little painting in it. Movie or television? Movie. Movie. Book or cell phone? Cell phone. Cell phone. Bird eating spider or fierce snake? Fierce snake. Fierce snake. Fierce snake. Car or motorbike? Car. Is it like car, is that a four-wheel drive or a car? Salty or Terry? Salty? <laughs> salty or Terry? <laughs> salty. He's going to say salty. <laughs> oh, well, Terry's easily replaced. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's this? How's this? I'm the only Hollywood movie star that's still on his first wife. What's going on? <laughs> you are, you are. Yeah. Australia or America? Australia. 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 Air-conditioned trailer or tent? Air-conditioned trailer! <laughs> why, why, mate, why? I can't all understand, like with the movie, why you go all the way out into the beautiful, like this magical part of the desert, and they go into boxes. They go into an air-conditioned box. It's when you got it's this. It's because it's 150 degrees, and there's 8 billion flies. Yeah, but that's that's what that it's it's all about your surroundings, mate. Enjoying right. the I outback enjoyed of them. Australia. They were con air-conditioned surroundings. <laughs> I wouldn't go in the stupid trailer. Okay, animals or humans? Animals. animals. Well, I knew you'd say that. World peace or better respect for animals? My heart will always be with wildlife, but my brain tells me I have to work with humanitarian issues first to be able to do good wildlife conservation. Have a go at this, will ya? Crocs rule. He's backing me up! breaking me neck. Well, even after that, we weren't quite finished with Steve and Terry. You see, they hadn't been exposed to New Zealand's dangerous wildlife before, so we thought we'd give them a special treat. A bit of background here. A couple of guys who claim to be Steve Irwin's biggest fans begged for the chance to interview Steve. They even sent us a video of their own version, The Bunny Hunter, to prove how keen they were. Check this out. <laughs> Well, what more could we do than unleash Germ and Naughty on the Croc Hunter? You can catch that later. It's very special. Well, they sent in videos and sent EV text after text to prove they were worthy of meeting the Crocodile Hunter. Naughty and Germ, as seen earlier taming a rabbit, set about to see if they themselves could be tamed by a somewhat bemused Steve and Terry. You're your number one fan. Number one fan. Oh, we hungry. We hungry. What? And Terry as well. We thought if there were no crocs to hunt, we could give you the Trans Tasman Crocodile Challenge. Yeah. Okay, so first, first animal. Goldfish. It's a New Zealand animal. Down in fresh waters. It's a trout, mate. Trout. Oh, how do I fix that? Okay. It's just like a goldfish. And now next, next one. Quite easy. 
Oh, nice. 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 Oh, I reckon he's non-venomous. Non-toxic, you reckon? I oh, know you're toxic. <laughs> he's uh, toxic. Definitely a male. You can tell by the thickening of the forehead. And that's probably a male. Bulging his strides. And um, <laughs> and uh, he's loaded. He is loaded. Bulging strides. I've never been actually paired with a female of the species. Oh, and I have no doubt about that. <laughs> you know what? I think it's a Homo sapien horridus. I agree. <laughs> I agree. They're very rare. Yeah. And Almost don't something. muck with them, mate. No. I'm a professional. <laughs> and the only reason I'm this close to it is I know that arterial uh, protect me. <laughs> You're walking through the forest. You look right. down. You look down, and this is what you see. You've got to tame me. How are you going to tame this horrid creature? I think we'll have to put this one down. Yeah. Do you want me to give you a hand? Steve, mate. Oh. Get in there. Head in, back in. Come on, show us. Kiwis and Aussies know how to tame a frog. Oh. Which end do you want well, me to These I've got to get on it. Come on, I'm ready? Wait. I'll get a blindfold first. Okay. Yeah, mate. Get in there. I got him. Alright, he's still moving. Got a rope. He's still moving. I got him. I got okay. him. Nice I got you him. know what? This thing is so badly debilitated. I, I reckon you better put it down. Yeah. Okay, get a rock. Was it all you hoped for? Oh, definitely. I didn't expect to get tamed. No, I thought he'd just look at us, maybe snooty. Oh, he's a real, real good chap. He tames a legend.